Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday Night Live. Today is February 1st, 2022, and we are going to be using some celebration products. Tonight, um, as you can tell by the products in front of us, one of those is going to be the celebration free $100 level set. Uh, friendly hello and it comes with both the stamp set and the paper let me uh, see who's on I can get this up we can take a look all right so when you come on go ahead and let me know that you're here Hello, Cynthia. Thanks for joining. Let's see if we get anyone else on. I'm not sure if Laura will be coming on. She's got children. She's watching, she said, while uh, her daughter went to the brother-in-law's wedding. So not sure if she'll be able to jump on or not. So let's see who else is coming so the friendly hello um, I'm gonna go over some housekeeping notes too this friendly hello is a photopolymer set and you get 13 photopolymer stamps and then the paper um, is 12 by 12 and it has six double-sided designs okay somebody has all right so let's look at those i will try and silence my notifications because caitlin hello laura you did make it all right so this is side one and side two and side one and side two and these are the papers that we're going to be using tonight but we have all kinds of beautiful sheets here so you've got side one side two side one side two love this pool party in black and then we've got side one Inside two, and is that everything? Nope. We've got this one. Side one, oh come on, sticky, and side two. Okay, so those are, we're gonna be making some cards with those tonight. So let's set those aside. But let's talk about some new product that's coming out or that came out today. So uh, Stampin' Up! has done an early release of the All Together collection. And it comes with um, 10 new Stampin' Blends. And they are a little different from our regular Stampin' Blends in that... Rather than, they do come in a tool pack. Let me move this out of the way. They come in a two pack, but rather than having names, they're numbered, okay? So, and Stampin' Up! has numbered them starting at 100. I've got them all messed up now. Uh, so, from darkest to lightest. Okay, so. This is the way I have them in my case. Okay. So the darkest is at 100 and the lightest is at 1000. Okay. They do come in packs of two. So you will get like one SU100 and SU200. And they call these um, dark. And then these are the medium darks. 300 and 400. These are the mediums. 500 and 600. And then seven and eight hundred are the medium lights, and nine hundred and one thousand are the lights. 
okay? So that's how they come. Um, each one is different. So one has a red undertone and one has a yellow undertone. All right. So those, you can either buy these in sets of two or you can buy the whole collection. And the whole collection is $45. Okay. Now, along with that, they've also released some paper. And let me make sure I give you. Okay. So, according to my information, this paper will be available in the new catalog. That's my understanding. It does not say that it's available only while supplies last. So, this has, it's all black and white. So, you've got hands on one side and dots or dotted lines on the other side. You get four sheets of each. So, you've got this pattern with this pattern then you've got this pattern and the reverse side this pattern and this no that is right no it is not sorry this pattern and this is the back And you've got these large hands grasped together in squares. And on the back, you have this beautiful uh, pattern that you can color into rainbows. And then you've got this pattern. And on the back, you've got this one. You've got this along with that. This leafy pattern or lips kind of looks a little bit like lips too. And this, and then A and B, black and hearts. These would be great for Valentine's Day or any other day. Do you want to show someone that you love them? And then finally, you've got this pattern with that pattern, okay? And of course, with any of these, you can color them with your blends. Um, or you can use your blending brushes to change the color, add some color. Sky's the limit. All right, so that's the paper. Um, and all I have purchased at this point is the blends and the paper but this is the stamp set and coordinating dies that go along with it the stamp set uh, will be in the new annual catalog it's my understanding and the dies are only w available while supplies last so you can order everything in a collection and the collection is $105 and you just use one host code or not one host code, but one code to get all four of those products. Or you can purchase the bundle, or you can purchase the Stampin' Blends in a collection or in two packs, or you can purchase the paper. Everything can be purchased separately, okay? So that started today. You'll find it on the website. You won't find it in any catalog at this point. Um, all right, so let's move forward now and let's get started. I do want to show you I have this new chamois holder that I got from a place on Etsy called Whimsical Wishes US. She handmade it for me um, and the base has holes in it so that your chamois won't dry out. And then the base fits into the lid so that not, if it's wet, then it won't leak through. Um, and then it has the lid to go on for traveling. So it's pretty cool. I really like this. So I wanted to show that to you. All right. Hello, Mary. Hello, Jennifer. So glad you ladies could join. Let's go ahead and get started with our first project. Um, 
Let me grab those supplies here. All right, so we are going to start with a card base in Pool Party. And then we've got a piece of shaded spruce, and this is cut at, let me look at my notes here, three by one and seven eighths. We have two pieces of that designer series paper or four pieces, two of each pattern. And these are cut at one and three quarters by two and three eighths. And then apparently I used my, oh no. Yep, I did, because I need this to be I used up that piece. I was playing around and I used it. It is three and three quarters by five of the basic white. Okay. And we're going to use this basic white to add our designer series, designers series paper to. So let's go ahead and do that. I can't believe what a mess I have already. Okay. So let's get some adhesive here. Actually, I'm gonna use liquid glue so I can slide these into place. Now you could, because you've got the back sides, you could add in a, easily throw in another pattern if you so choose. Okay, but we're just gonna put these up here with a nice even border. And it should be about an eighth of an inch. I'm gonna slide that in. And we'll add this piece. This is a nice, easy layout that you can use for just about any occasion. It takes just a little bit of designer series paper. You can use scraps that you have left over from other projects because the pieces aren't that large. Makes a pretty quick and easy card if you don't get too carried away. Oh, it doesn't look like I cut this one quite right. Oh, well, we're going to leave it because it's just going to be that way. I don't think I cut that at the right measurement. All right, so we've got that. Not going to matter too much anyway. We've got this piece of shaded spruce. We're going to set that aside with our, I'm going to take our um, card base now and I'm going to fold that. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping around the outside edges. Okay, we're going to do that in some pool party ink. And we're going to take the little, I'll take that off. I'm going to take the little um, cluster. You'll see when I stamp this. I need to get some scratch paper. Hang on. I don't want to mess all over my table here. All right, because we're going to do some stamping around. And we're going to stamp off some and on. And I'm just going to randomly stamp these in. And because my piece is three and three quarters by five, I need a little bit more of a deeper border than I would if it were the standard four by five and a quarter. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're doing your edges. 
And notice how I turn not only the paper, but the stamp, because I really want it to look random. So I'm just gonna keep turning this. So I'm going to fill this up. Okay, and then I'll put this piece down and make sure that I've got what I want. Okay, and I look, actually, this looks like it could use just a little something here along the edge right there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So now we can go ahead and add this to our card base. Hi, Tracy. Okay, I'm going to place this on here. Like so. And then from the Stitch So Sweetly dies, I've cut from Basic White one of these and the smallest scalloped rectangle. And we're going to use those on our cards. And they're both, like I said, Basic White. So let's grab those out of here. Okay, so we're going to stamp on that. And let's just stamp on that. Okay. So for this, we're going to use some memento. We're going to take the bird with the flowers. And I'm going to ink this upside down so I can be sure and see what I've got. Give that a good inking. My memento almost looks like it needs to be re-inked. See how that goes. I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna put it on my stamp and pierce mat. I'm just gonna set that down. Hold it for a second, let that ink soak in, and then I'm gonna lift it up. Okay, I didn't do a lot of pressure because I didn't want to over stamp. Okay, now we can set that aside. Let it dry for just a minute. And we're gonna take this piece. Now, ordinarily what you would probably want to do is you would want to stamp your sentiment and then cut it. But for video's time's sake, I'm doing it the other way around. And my sentiment I took from uh, the Inspired Thoughts stamp set. That's this one, I've used this one frequently. I love that it has inside and outside sentiments. So we're gonna take the Memento Black again. And we're gonna ink that up. I'm going to bring that down a little closer to me, but try and make sure that I'm still in the screen for you. And I know based on when I stamped earlier, I have to turn this just, whoops. I can't stamp it how I think I want to. I've got to turn it just a tad. Okay, well, I got it a little crooked, but... I have one already stamped. So we'll bring in my better one, okay? All right, so we've got those pieces. Now let's go ahead and color this up. And let's see. We need some pale papaya. 
and some pool party. And a tiny bit of, let's see, actually, I think I use Calypso Coral, but we're going to use Pale Papaya because I'm going to stick with that. And the light crumb cake, which I have here. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with a little bit of light crumb cake along the very bottom of the bird here. Just a little bit. And then we're going to take our pale papaya. And I'm going to go in just above that and right into the edge. And I'm going to take my dark pale papaya okay, and then I'm going to go with my dark pool party. I'm going to go along some of these feathers where they come together and it would be just a little bit of a shadow. Okay. And then I'm going to take my light pool party and I'm avoiding the memento simply because sometimes the light colors will make the memento bleed, especially if it isn't quite dry. Okay. So now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to smooth this out right here so that it doesn't look like it's such a harsh line. All right. And I'm happy with my bird. Okay. So then we're going to take fresh freesia. And I'm going to start with the dark. And I'm just going to go along the artist lines here. Throwing in a little bit of dark color. And I'm going to put the dark right in the center. And then I'm going to go back with the light. And color in. And I'm not being super careful. If I've got some white, I'm good with that. That just gives my flowers some highlights, especially at the edges. Okay. I'm going to go back and put a little bit of dark in here. And finally, I'm going to take some Granny Apple Green, which I pulled out of here at one point. What did I do with them? Oh, I set my measurements on top of them. And I'm going to take the Granny Apple Green and I'm going to go along the veins of the leaves. branch. Okay, and I'm not even going to do any blending on that. That's done. All right. So then we're going to take and add this to our piece of shaded spruce. I'm just going to pop that down on there. A nice even border. And then with some Stampin' Dimensionals, I'm going to pop that up on my card. Of 
Let me get that backing off. I might have to grab my take your pick jewel. Okay. Now where did I set those tweezers down at? I don't know. They aren't in their spot though. Okay, let's put this right here. Center that up. And then we're going to grab some pastel pearls. And my take your pick tool. And I'm going to take the putty in and slide off those darker ones and stick in the center of those flowers. Okay. And then we're going to add our sentiment. And I'm going to pop that up. And I'm going to put the, this side's fine. This one I need to put way at the bottom. Okay. And then we're going to take, I don't know what happened to my tweezers. I don't know can't live without the tweezers. And I'm just going to stick this right here. Okay. And that says you make a difference every day. And then for the inside of this card, I've taken another one of those stamps from the set. And this splatter stamp is also from the set. This I stamped in Fresh Freesia. And um, this is colored with pale papaya and the granny apple green. And I'm just going to add that to the inside of my card. Okay. And then for the envelope... I've added a couple of the leaves from that same stamp set. And that makes us our finished card. Um, yes, Tracy, I'll give you the measurements again. So your basic white piece that you're putting your pieces on is three and three quarters by five. And then the patterned uh, paper is one and three quarters by two and three eighths inch. And if you want to put this piece behind the, um, oh, the die cut, stitch so sweetly, um, that piece is three by one and seven eighths. Okay, hello Lynette, welcome. Okay, so that is our first project for tonight. Now, the next two really aren't finished cards. I just wanted to show you how the designer series paper works, and then we'll move on to the final project. But I'm hoping that you'll stick with me long enough because I did kind of want to show you how this works, okay? All right, so this is one of the pieces of the designer series paper, okay? And these... Um, stamps are designed so that you can actually stamp on the designer series paper. So I'm going to show you how you would do that. So I took this, a piece of um, the designer series paper, and this is cut at three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And I'm going to grab my stamp and pierce mat here. And this particular stamp will line up perfectly with this image. So, and the way that you'll know to do that is there's a little, if you can see here, you've got a little three tip here. And if you find that three tip on this flower, then you'll be able to line it up. So let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna take the Memento Black Oh, 
hang on, put this underneath so I don't go stamp on my stamp and pierce mat here. So again, I'm gonna find those three tips and these three tips and I'm gonna line that up and I'm gonna stamp it down. Okay. Now I've just taken that designer series paper and made it extra fun, okay? In addition to that, I can take on this same piece. I'm going to take the three little flower doohickeys and I'm gonna ink those up and those are going to line up perfectly with these. Okay, so now you've got that. Now you also could, if you wish to, you could take the sprig of fern from here. Let me grab that. I thought I had it out. I do have it out. Oh, it's on the back side. No, nope, that's the wrong stamp set. Oh, here it is. Sorry, guys. I had too many stamps for my blocks. Again. Okay. So you can take this one, and then I'm going to take this, and again in the black, I'm going to ink that up. And I'm just going to put that down right here right over the top of the white and add a little something something there and i'm going to do the same over here okay so now i have a completely different piece of designer series paper just by adding the coordinating stamps to that designer series paper and then I can um, attach this to a piece of basic black that is cut at four by, no, four, yeah, four and seven eighths, I think, by five and an eighth. I'll double check that for you. Three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, okay? So I can take and then I could add this to a white card base. Like so. And then I could add a sentiment and use that same Stitch So Sweetly die with a black border and put that on there or just put a big sentiment on there. I can have just a big thanks or a big happy birthday. And then I would have a completed card with very little effort. Okay. Uh, the leaf outline on this particular one, Tracy, doesn't uh, doesn't fit. These leaves are too big. Okay, so there's another idea for you uh, using the paper. And then I have one final one that, again, is just an idea. It's not The card is not actually completed. So with this one... I took, um, this is another piece, and this particular piece does not have this done or this done, but I wanted to show you, in order to do these, the only way that I could find to line them up is to use the Stamparatus. So I'm going to show you how I did that. 
because once you ink up your stamp in a dark color, you can't see through it. So I recommend that you take your stamp and line it up with the leaf and you, you can do uh, the larger leaf here and the small leaf on both sides of this flower. If you line that up with your Stamparatus and then you close up that lid, then when you ink up your leaf, then you can match it up and change that white leaf to dark. So of course you could do that in whatever color you wish to do it. All right, so on this piece of paper, the only things that I have stamped are these three black leaves. The rest of it was the paper itself. All right, so I just wanna show you how easy that would be. And then you could just take this piece. This is actually a leftover piece. So this is a three and a quarter by four and a half. And then I just matted it a quarter of an inch larger in each direction. And then you could put this on a pale papaya card base. And then I've taken some sentiments from the mini messages stamp set, which I have pre, uh, pre stamped. This is a single stamp that has, um, lots of different messages on it and you stamp it once and then it has a matching die to cut out all of these and then I've taken and stamped some and then I've just stored them into a piece of um, plastic so that when I need them they're ready to go so then you could just take this and throw down just a card to say hello or hooray it's your birthday wishing you a year of magical moments and memories add a few basic rhinestones maybe some pale papaya sheer ribbon and um, you've got yourself a beautiful card all ready to go in just a little bit of time okay so there we are that is your friendly hello bundle of products that you can get free during celebration with a $100 qualifying purchase and that goes through the end of February so all right so let's move on to our next project I'm going to clean up a little bit here I'll go ahead and put that card back out for you to look at while I'm getting ready Moving some of these stamp and blends out of the way. And I might have to clean some stamps so I have some blocks, but we'll do that as we go. Because we're going to need more blocks, I believe. Okay, well, let's go ahead. We've got this open. Let's just go ahead and Clean those up real quick so I can just pull them off when I don't need them. Whoops. Okay. So for our next card, I have um, mixed and matched from the annual catalog. So uh, we're going to be using the Awesome Otters from Celebration, which you can get with a, a $50 qualifying purchase. We're also going to be using the Friends Are Like Seashells and the matching or the coordinating die set, Seaside Seashells dies. Say that 10 times quickly. Okay. We're also gonna be using the watercolor shapes to do a little bit of our coloring for us. And we're gonna be using the layering circle dies, which if you had a punch, you could use that too, and the layering diorama lies, uh, dies. Okay. I've pre-done quite a bit of the 
uh, pieces already so that you didn't have to stay too late. So let's get our card out, get our pieces here. So we're going to be using some of the Simply Marvelous paper from the Celebration free catalog, which is um, free with a qualifying $50 order. A piece of Pacific Point, which is cut at, I believe, four by five and a quarter, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I take that back. And our card base is in Pool Party, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start with our Simply Marvelous paper. Now I am starting with a piece of Simply Marvelous that is, I'm using the a blue pattern, and this is three and three quarters by five and a quarter, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to put this on and we're going to tear this over here. Okay, so we're, I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to tear this. And I don't want it to be too sharp, so I'm going to fix that. Okay, and then we're going to also, uh, yeah, we got a tear here too. So we're going to tear. Wait a minute, I got to cut this one down. Uh, what did I say that was? Five and a quarter. I don't know what I was thinking here. Okay, yeah, five and a quarter. Cut this up five and a quarter. Because I need a second piece of this. Okay, and this one just needs to be large enough to tear. So you want it to be smaller than this because you're going to put this over a piece of white that we're going to grab, okay? So we're just going to tear this, okay, so it looks like waves. And we're going to attach these together, and then we're going to add this to a piece of white that is four by five and a quarter. Okay. So we need this to be four by five and a quarter. But before we add these pieces, we're going to stamp our sentiment. And our sentiment is from Friends Are Like Seashells. And it says, Friends are the seashells you collect along the way. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that in Pacific Point. And we're just going to stamp that right up here in the corner. Okay, let that sit and soak in for a minute. All right. Now we can add our torn pieces. I might have to tear it again. Or we'll just put it on and then we'll chop it off. That's what we'll do. That way I can be sure that I'm right up where I want to be. Okay, so I'm just going to put this down and line that up. Okay, and then I'm going to flip that over I'm just going to chop it off. 
And then I'm going to add this piece to the side. Okay, and then it kind of looks like we've got some ocean waves here. All right. And then we can add this to our Pacific point. Just like so. All right, so we're good with that. Then with the layering dioramas, I've cut from the third to the smallest piece. I've cut out of crumb cake, okay? So I wanted this to look like a little piece of sand on my in my water, like a little beachy part. So we're going to take some crumb cake ink, or actually I think I use, let's see, what did I use? Let's look. Crumb cake. That is what I used. So I'm going to take some crumb cake, I'm going to stamp off, and then I'm just going to put some Wow, I think, oh, I have Sahara sand. I don't have crumb cake. No wonder why it's so light. Okay, so I'm just going to put that just like that. That's enough. I want to get carried away. I'm also going to take my blending brush and I'm going to grab that crumb cake ink. Oops, sorry about that. And I'm just going to do a little bit around the edges just to give my little island a little bit more credibility. Okay. All right, so now we can set that aside. And then I'll show you what I did here. Okay, so with some basic white, just a scrap, I have um, stamped the otter from the otter set. And I do have that out. I've stamped that in basic or in Memento, just on some white. And then I've colored it with um, the cinnamon cider blends and the water is done with the light and dark balmy blue. Okay, so we're gonna take this and what I want to do is I just want to take, I'm gonna put this here, give myself some room here. And I want to take, and I'm going to just cut along my waves here, okay? So I'm just going to cut those. And go like this. Okay, and then I'm going to go up around this part here I'm leaving that top wave on there and then I'm going to cut my otter and I'm going to cut my otter right on the line. I'm not leaving any white space. 
Okay. I'm just going to cut that, and I'm not worrying about those little hairs on the top of his head. And then again, I'm going to skip this top wave there. And I'm going to go down on the top side of this wave. And I'm just going to swing this around so it's got a little bit. So I've got something that looks a little bit like that. All right. Then I'm going to grab a scrap piece of white. Well, actually, I think I can use the back of this. Yep, I'll use this. All right. And with the um, watercolor, what is it called? Watercolor shapes. I'm going to take the round stamp. And I'm going to take one of these, steal this off the block. And I'm going to put this on a block. And then I'm going to take my Pacific Point. Got to get some of these things out of my way on the last project. So I'm going to take the Pacific Point. I can figure out what I did with it right here. And I'm going to ink this up. And then I'm going to stamp this off. Oh, and I've got something on there, so it's a good thing I did that. It's like I've got a hair of some sort on there. Let's do that again. Okay, and we're going to stamp that off. Jeez Louise. I do not quite get it here. What is on my stamp? Okay. I don't have any little messes on there. All right. I've got marks in my paper. That's what it is. Okay. Well, let's fix that. Let's get a clean piece of paper. There we go. All right. No more messes. Then we're going to stamp this down. Second generation. And then I'm going to take the otter again. I'm going to ink him up in Memento. And I'm going to stamp him in my circle. Okay, and I'm going to do it just about there. All right, I'm going to cut this out with a layering circle die, which I've already done. And then I'm going to add my otter to my circle here. Okay, we're going to do that with some mini dimensionals. So let's grab those. I wish I knew what I did with those good tweezers. All right. I'm going to pull those backings off. I 
and then I'm going to add this right over the top. of my otter, making sure that I line that all up. Okay. All right. So now I've got this and it looks 3D. Okay. Now I can add this to my island. I'm going to stick this about right here and I'm just going to put a little bit of stamp and seal at the bottom of this for the moment. So I'm not going to add that to my card yet. So I'm just going to put this about here. Oh, better get my otter on there kind of straight. Okay, there we go. So now we've got that. All right. Let's get rid of this. Now I've taken ahead of time, and what I did was I took the uh, rectangle watercolor shape, and I stamped this in second generation Calypso Coral. And... Um, I took the square and I stamped this in second generation shaded spruce. And when I had those, well, let me, I better show you real quick. Let's get them on here. I'll grab another piece. We won't care if these are perfect or not, though it won't matter. Okay, so let's grab that shaded spruce and Calypso Coral. Okay, so we're going to do the Calypso Coral in the rectangle, which I don't see where I set that now. Here it is. Okay, second generation. I'm going to ink that up. I'm going to stamp it off. I'm going to do a better job of inking that because I didn't get it in the center. Okay, stamp that off. I'm going to stamp it down. I'm going to do the same thing with the shaded spruce. Okay. Stamp that off. Stamp it down. All right. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I need this. And we're going to take the fern image from the seashell stamp set. And we're going to stamp this full strength. Multiple times on our square. Okay. Then with the Calypso Coral, we're going to take our starfish full strength, and we're going to stamp several of those, okay, and then we're going to use the coordinating dies and cut those out, all right, and I have already done that, and this is what you're going to get, and this way you don't have to color your pieces, they're already colored for you. Okay, and the last thing that you're going to need is a piece of the Simply Marvelous paper, which is the same paper that we tore. Okay, and you're going to use the back side of it, and you're going to take the little seashell, and in the Pacific Point, I'm going to scrap of that. Let's use this piece right here. You're going to take and stamp a couple of those, and then you're going to run those through the die cut and cut them out. Okay. So 
So those are our pieces now. Okay, and we've got all of those die cut ready to go. Now we can start the assembly of our card. We're gonna put this down. And I should have a couple more of these, which I'm not seeing at the moment, but I should have. Who knows where they went away to? There they are. Okay. So we're just going to lay these out. And we'll... Put these about like so. And I think I want to move. Man, I need those tweezers that I can't find. My nails are way too long. I'm having a hard time grabbing anything because they're so long. Okay, and then I'll put this like this. All right, so we'll just grab a little bit of liquid glue. And we'll add these in. Just make sure when you do this that you don't go over the edge. We're going to add this to a the pool party base. So we do have just a little bit of excess that we can go beyond if we want to. But you don't want to go too far off your cardstock there. Okay, so we've got that. Put our starfish down. Have our little clamshell. Okay, and then these are for the inside of our card. And we can turn the valley into a mountain. And then we'll add this to our card base. Just going to use some seal and put that down. Put that right in there, like so. All right, and there is our card front. Now, for the inside of our card. Going to take a piece of that paper that we have left and grab a hold of it. Right here, I've got a piece that I cut off of the one end, and I'm going to try to tear this. So I want to keep with the seal from the outside and bring that to the inside. So we're going to put this down and I'm only going to put um, adhesive at the bottom because I want to tuck in my shells at the top and I want to be able to do that. So I'm just going to stick this down on the bottom of my card and I'm doing it flush with the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to take my Starfish and my seashell and my seaweed. I'm going to stick those there for just a moment. And then from my friends are like sea seashell stamp set, I'm going to get the sentiment that says, I'm so happy I found you. And 
get the Pacific Point ink. I'm going to ink that up. And I'm going to move this over. Okay, let's pull those out. I'm going to put this right down here at the bottom. Hopefully I was in frame there. Oh, barely. Okay, then I can go ahead and add a little bit of liquid glue to my starfish. I'm going to stick that in kind of like that. Add my clamshell. Right here like so. And then my seaweed right behind. And this is now ready for the inside of my card. Okay. There we are. Let's get some of these things out of your way so you're not looking at a mess. We'll grab that other card that we made. This is what I put on the envelope. You are utterly awesome. So we've got that. And we've got that. Okay. So there's our, our finished projects for tonight. I hope you enjoyed them. She is, I look at the deck, I don't see an island. So clever. Actually, I can't take credit for that. I saw that somewhere. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies, um, just so you'll know, the host code is still open. It will be open for another two days till February 3rd, and then I'll be closing the current host code out. If you need that, let me know, and I will uh, let you know what it is. And um, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you again next week. Tuesday night live at 745. Thank you so much. Thanks for the hearts. Good night, everybody.